retrograde and it's retrograding at 25 degrees of Libra. It will be backing up, I think, until like 2018 degrees, 20 degrees of Leo. I don't know. I'll have to check my charts, but it will be moving through Libra. So look in your chart, see where the late degrees, the last to the mid deacon, the second and the third deacon of Libra is in your chart. And you all right, so I will pull up the ephemeris. Libra will be retrograding from 25 degrees of Libra, and it will be going to 10 degrees, okay, direct. So look at where this is in your chart, 25 degrees of Libra till 10 degrees of Libra, and that's where this Mercury retrograde will be affecting you. See where you're going to be reworking, rethinking, reevaluating things. If it's if Libra's in your first house, you're going to be re-looking at how you present yourself. So if you're a rising Libra, most likely this will be in your first house. What's up, green light log? Thanks for joining. And I was just discussing a little bit about um, the, the regulations, restrictions, and now I'm getting into the astrology chart for right now. But if, um, when the live is done, you could log back on so and listen to the rest. So, um, so yeah, so Libra, if you're a rising Libra, this, this Mercury retrograde will be reassessing and re-looking at how you present yourself to the world and others. So you might be looking for a new haircut or looking at getting a new wardrobe or how you present yourself in the world and how people see you. Um, it's, it usually has to do with your ego, which is like everything outside of outside, right? So like how you, how your attitude is, how you dress, how you look. If Libra is in your second house, you're going to be re-looking at your values, like what you value. If it's in your third house, you're going to be re-looking at how you communicate with others, your communication styles, how to listen to others, um, your, your relationship with your cousins and your siblings, maybe more time being spent with them. It could even be an altercation. If it's in your fourth house, then it's going to be uh, re-looking at your home. If the area that you live in is working for you, the neighborhood working for you. Maybe you own a house and you want to redo something, new decor. If it's in your fifth house, you're, you, you're going to be reassessing um, maybe some creative efforts. Hi, <laughs> creative efforts. Um, it could be uh, looking at your romance, uh, if, <laughs> if you have any. <laughs> um, also your children. If you have children, if, if the mercury retrograde going through that house you might have um some communication problems with your children some arguments so just be mindful if it's in your sixth house um this retrograde is going to be looking at your health your routine how you work your date your how how you go about in your daily routine could be um reassessing maybe you want to stop eating meat or maybe you wanted to to juice or you want to quit smoking or drinking um and then it's in your seventh house, you're going to be looking at your partnerships and relationships. This could be your business partnerships. This could be your marriage. This could be your, uh, your friends, your partners, um, how you relate to others and how you balance yourself with others. It's in your eighth house. You could be um, coming up on either uh, looking at some finances, loans, grants, um, maybe an inheritance, um, maybe some other people's money, stuff like that, shared resources. If it's in your ninth house, you will be um, experiencing this in the way of what you believe and your spirituality. Maybe you're looking to travel or, uh, or planning to travel. This could also have to do with your education if you're thinking about furthering your education or getting a degree in something or going back to school. You could be re looking at that. If it's in your 10th house, you could be rethinking about your career and maybe you want to do something a little different or tweak it a little, a little more. Um, maybe uh, you want to integrate something in the way that you work or your career. 
Um, it could just be that you want a totally different <laughs> career. And so um, you're really seeing what's not working for you in the area of career and business. If in your 11th house, you might be rethinking your, uh, your networks, your groups, your friends. Um, there might be some miscommunication in those areas or reconsidering um, the people that you surround yourself with on the daily. Remember, you are the five people that you hang out with. So whoever you hang out with, take a good look at them because most likely you are a reflection of them. So whatever you see in them that you don't like, you might either have that was a shadow past aspect that you're helping them through, or that's just something that the universe is trying to show you to work through those things that maybe shadow aspects of yourself that you don't really like. Mm -hmm. If it's in your house, this could be, you probably most likely will be getting a lot of dreams. It could be even intuitive dreams. This is about the unseen, the things that you intuit, and maybe just listening to your intuition more and stuff like that. Hey, what's up, Cindy? Aw, I'm, I'm back swimming laps. <laughs> just got done. Um, I was so eager to swim laps because when I came in last week to use my new swimsuit with arms, got rejected. They wouldn't even let me in my own gym without a vaccine card. Um, they didn't even ask me for a negative COVID test. So I was like livid. I was pretty upset. But um, I talked to the VP and they said I could use all the outdoor facilities. I didn't really have a problem getting in today. I think hopefully they got let go of those girls that were up front because they were really rude and tactless. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Yeah, we, you know, we just have to keep um, fighting for our rights and equality and, um, you know, just showing, showing the, the things that are hidden. And it's, it, it, it's really a shame as that I don't even know how these networks are still around. Like, I think we should go and put these networks under because they're causing all the hate and the division and the, the not thinking um, logically, like no, nothing that I hear in the news that have been sent to me has been logical. It's been really disgusting. And, um, and so, yeah, I'd say 50% of the population is probably vaccinated. And so 50% are, have to fight <laughs> for their right, really. So yeah, don't let those networks fool you because they want to make it seemed like the minority are the ones unvaccinated. And I don't think that's the case at all. Yeah, there's a lot going on uh, this month in astrology. It's actually very huge. We're 